One Tree Hill has chalked up 100 episodes, but that doesn't mean they've run out of dramatic storylines. Keep it right here for the CW Sources recap of 100. Lucas's book made Bride to be Lindsay cry. Not because it was bad, but because she fell in love with the story about the boy and the comet. He's just this lost little boy, and then he sees the comet, and suddenly his life has meaning. And then he waits his whole life for the comet to return. He has faith that it will, even though science and his intellect tells him it won't. His heart still believes. Fresh off the boat with Lucas's little sister, Lily, in tow, Karen showed up for the event of the year, l and big wedding day. She made her rounds, and when she got to Brooke, Karen inspired a little heart-to-heart. -heart. You know, in life, if you let it, you can always come up with reasons to give up. But if you don't, you might just find love in places you never imagined. In a new relationship, or in your work, or, or in your children. The entire Tree Hill gang got all spiffied up and gathered together. But true friends call each other out. You know I love you, Peace Oil, right? But baby girl, you are so far from okay, man. You ain't even in the same area code. So then it was on to the ceremony, which seemed to attract a bunch of unwanted guests. You're not going into that church, and you're not going to talk to my son, my husband, Karen, or Lucas, for that matter. You should be careful about being so bossy. I've been in prison a long time. Kind of sexy. With some pretty messed up ideas in their heads. My son's the ring bearer. So as Peyton witnesses Lucas and Lindsay at the altar, she decided to stand up for what she felt. Do you? Lucas, you can't. That's what I'm talking about. When you proposed to me two years ago, I just wasn't ready. And I was lost and scared, so I said someday. But someday's now, Luke, it is. Someday is now, and I love you. Well, at least in thought. Instead, I said nothing. And he said, I do. During the ceremony, little Jamie went off to the bathroom, only to be swiped by Kooky Carrie. I'm supposed to leave the church. Jamie, you know I love you. Don't you trust me? Lucas said I do. But when it was Lindsay's turn, she finally realized who that boy waiting for the comet to bring light to his life was. The boy saw the comet, and suddenly his life had meaning. I'm sorry, Lucas. I can't marry you. So, all bets were off, and Lindsay hit the road with her beautifully designed Brooke Davis original. All the guests started scrambling to find little Jamie. Can you lock? No, I'm really getting worried right now. Dan was here. Except for the uninvited one, Dan who knew exactly where Carrie was keeping him. You have to open the door, son. I'm here to take you home. Dan made a threat I don't think Carrie will ever forget. If you decide to go anywhere near my family ever again, let's just say this. I killed my brother in cold blood. I'd have no problem killing you. In the church, Peyton was sad to see Lucas say those two words but even more surprised by the words that came out of Brooke's mouth. I want to have a baby. With me? The relief felt in the Naley household was bittersweet when Jamie announced the name of his savior. Brooke, I did save me. What? What does the Lucas and Lindsay future hold? And for that matter, what about Nathan and Haley? I'm sure we're going to find out a whole lot more tonight at 9 o'clock, 8 o'clock Central on OTH. And great job on the 100th episode. Here's to 100 more.